What's up everybody? I'm Captain Jody with Bayou Bandit Charters. Well, welcome back to the channel. If you like saltwater fishing along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast, hit that subscribe button, put a video out. Every week we may be trout fishing, we may be flounder fishing, we may be red fishing, we may be flounder gigging, bow fishing, there's no telling. Tonight, out here with my dad, we're gonna try to get on a few red fish. We want about four or five redfish. That's all we want. We want to make some blackened redfish poor boys. So we're out here. My dad's got the gig, the old Carlson gig, ready to go. I got the bow. Stay tuned for some bow fishing action. Just missed him. Just missed him. Shot a little low. Gosh, how did I miss that fish? Gig that one, Daddy. Watch. Yeah, I run flounder gigging and bow fishing charters on the Alabama Mississippi Gulf Coast every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights year round. Of course, it's winter time now, so we're in Mississippi waters where it's legal to shoot redfish, and that's what we like doing. It's it's challenge. It's a lot harder than you think. There's no sights on these bows. You got a moving boat, you got a moving fish. You got depth perception to deal with, light refraction, a lot harder than you think. But that's what makes it a fun trip, makes it a challenging trip. So if you're interested in one of these charters, I'll leave all my information in the description below or just call me right there at that number and get up with me flounder won't be back in till march already have booked quite a few trips from march people are booking trips fast a lot of people told me they tried to get in last year and i was already booked up so if you want to come on a flounder gigging charter you can go ahead and book now those will get kicked off march 1st gigging 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 There you go. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Boom. Redfish number one. It's a good one. Boom. Oh, I got him. Yep. I got him. I think I got him graveyard dead too. He's under the boat. Yep. Kill shot on him. Right in the dome. Yeah. Right in the dome. Yeah. Right in the dome. Boom. Right under you, right under you. Get 
Dean. <laughs> Got him. There you go. Redfish number three. Good one. Let's say we get about two more and call it. We just want enough to blacken, blacken up. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. I'm doing a death roll. And suckers fight when you shoot them with a bow, let me tell you. He <laughs> got all tangled up. There we go. We got him. We got him straightened up now. We got him straightened up now. Come on. <laughs> Rascal sitting on about 22, 23. All right, we're gonna get one more. That's enough, gonna be enough redfish to make some blackened redfish corboys, which is one of my favorite ways to fix those redfish. If not on the half shell, on the grill, it's those blackened corboys. And if y'all are interested in getting any bow fishing or flounder gigging lights, you cannot beat these lights I'm using. I've done this a long time. I have used a ton of lights over the years. These are 2200 Kelvin lights, five star LED lights from Victor McNew. All his information will be in the description below. I love them. I'm running 14 of the 50 watt DC lights, 12 volt lights. I run a generator as more or less a redundant system and it powers my onboard battery charger. So if my generator goes out, I can still run a full five hour charter trip with my Ionic lithium batteries. And if you need any batteries, Ionic, Ionic lithium is the way to go. They have an 11 year warranty. They weigh 30 pounds a piece. These are the 100, 100 amp hour batteries. I absolutely love them. If you're looking for a, some good batteries that will last a long time, contact Danny Rogers with Performance Fishing Electronics. His link will be in the, in the description below. These Ionic batteries have an app with them and you can pull that app up and see their charge, how much amps you're using, how much charge, how many hours you've got left, how many times you've cycled a battery. A ton of information right there at your fingertips where you know without a doubt the state of your batteries. I'm running six of them, six of the 100 amp hours, three for the trolling motor, too slow, three for the trolling motor, and three for my lights. I absolutely love them. The water we're in now is kind of stained from the rains we've had over the last couple of days. You can still see, that's what I love about these lights. You can see great in stained water, see great in clean, clear water. There he is. All right, Let's see if I can connect. Got I got him. Very good. I got him. No, I did not. <laughs> How did I miss that fish? Yeah, and when I pulled the air out, he wasn't on there and he swam off. It went right beside him. Well then. You've got a small target underwater. It's 
challenging. It is very challenging, to say the least. Well, I gig some flounder on this stretch right through here in this October. Big ones. Dead a gig right by my arrow. Say again. Come around here. Come around here. Gig right by under my arrow. See that red fish? Yeah. Gigging, gigging. You got him. You got him. Boom. Ball game. That red fish did not move. And the arrow was right beside him. They hold, don't they? All right, that was a good way to end a trip. Hopefully that'll show up on film. That redfish, for some reason, did not move. The arrow was actually on top of him. I mean, a half an inch from him. My dad gigged him, so. That was our, what, five redfish? So we are good to go. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't get to see me in the bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning, nine o'clock. See y'all on the next one.